Three things I've learned from super producer Dr. Dre. Three secrets I'm going to share with you right now. All right? Number one, his drums always hit hard. All right? His drums are hard and original. All right? You would never hear a Dr. Dre track where the drums are not banging. That snare is not ringing through. That kick is not kicking hard. The bass is not booming, right? You would never hear that. Dr. Dre is the best at getting the best out of the drums, either recording live or in the mix, right? He doesn't miss. He uses an MPC 3000. He sets up like about four or five of them, um, and he doesn't change the disc. He does this so he can keep the sounds in the MPC 3000s, right? And he have them all lined up, and he have a different drum sound in each one. And then he'll use a master one for the sequencing, right? How dope is that, man? I believe his goal is to create an environment where he can stay in the groove without interruptions, right? Where he can stay in a creative set of mind. If For us that been producing for a while, we know we can get into a groove. You don't want anything to knock you out of that groove. So you want to have the elements around you. You want to have everything set up to where you can create at the highest level, right? You don't want any distractions. This is how deep his production goes on the drums, not even mentioning the other elements, all right? When he was producing NWA, he used the Roland 808 drum machine, right? All right, he had that big booming bass, that bass you feel in your chest. Way back in the day, man, in the, in the late 80s and the 90s, he was doing this. All right. Even with Michelle Lay, the song he produced, uh, Something in My Heart, an old, old school joint he produced back in the day. He had those 808s humming. All right. This isn't a fad. It's a lifestyle, a music style that he's used time after time. All right. We have to take note of that. Whether using a VST or real drums, we have to bring out the best in our percussions and the drum samples constantly like Dr. Dre if we want to provide those Hard hitting tracks. All right. The drums have to be hard. They have to sound original and they have to be, you know, they have to have that effect. They have to stand out. 